Hi there Librans, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 14 through the 20th. So we're really barreling towards the end of 2015. And keep in mind that Jupiter, the planet of good luck and good fortune, remains in Virgo through September 10 of 2016 and when, then he enters your sign. And that's definitely a date to remember and write down and I've talked a lot about that in my 2016 outlook. Until then, it's working on yourself, prioritizing you, working on your self-esteem, looking back over what happened the past year and where you turned the wrong corner and where you maybe turned the right one, what you can do to rectify past mistakes and what you can do to make sure you're on the road to, you know, the, the right road. It's almost like Dorothy in Wizard of Oz where she just had to follow the yellow brick road and she would get distracted by everything else that was going on. But in the end, it got her home and that's exactly what you have to concentrate on. This week, Mercury and Pluto are in Capricorn and they're digging into solving all sorts of things and maybe even causing a little bit of, of trouble somewhere along the line. And Mercury and Pluto come up against Uranus in your relationship zone. You've just got to be really careful that you're honest and straightforward with your friends. If you feel like someone's testing you, if you feel like someone's trying to get information out of you, asking you leading questions, or, you know, um, you find them, catch them going through your phone or emails, you know, really work out why they're doing that. What has made them feel suspicious of you or maybe that you're hiding something? Uh, women especially are very good at doing things like that, you know, feeling as if something's not right, that they haven't been invited to something and that you'll pl you've planned something behind their back and they don't know about it. And women get very upset about that. Men are more on the lookout for you, you know, stepping out with other men or saying things about them. A lot of my clients complain that their, their, their partners text their friends and, you know, with an onslaught of he or she did this or didn't do that and they don't appreciate that because... You know, they're people, they're, the friends are people that they have to see and deal with too. And so why broadcast every issue out into the public? And, you know, I totally understand where that's coming from. But sometimes you do want to text or call or email and say, you won't believe what happened, da 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 da, da. However, you just know that the chances of getting caught are there and, Sometimes it's best just to d direct whatever issues you have at the source. And with the holiday season coming up and with New Year's Eve coming up where we all make our resolutions and we all say we're going to be a different person in 2016, it's the perfect time, Labyrinths, it really is. Now Mars, the planet of energy and the planet of passion, remains in your sign. So what are you doing about that? If you're in a relationship that is hardly passionate, or you know, this is a time for you to dig deep and work out why it's not. Maybe it's because you're not allowing it to be or because you're with someone that you don't feel passionate about. Whatever the case, you have to work things out and you have to work things out now because you don't want to go into 2016 harboring these non-passionate feelings. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you check out my 2016 outlook on video and what I've written for you. And I will be speaking to you again soon, Liberans. Be kind to yourself.